Hi, and welcome back to another episode in the ArcSight uh, logger demonstration of uh, what we can do and uh, use within the uh, system itself. Uh, and this time we're actually going to be digging in a little bit more detail around uh, a, a very simple investigation. Now I touched on this uh, briefly before with regards to just doing a very simple uh, look up against uh, some activity on say port 443, SSL, so column 1 to, to want to dig into uh, with the lookup list example. So uh, in this time I actually want to go into a bit more detail around how you would typically go around the process, one of the options and some of the capabilities that we can bring to bear around looking at and investigating uh, some traffic. In this case it's uh, HTTP traffic to some web servers. So we have a demonstration environment here. We have lots of log data. and we, I just quickly logged in and we can see there's some, some simple uh, dashboards that we come up with uh, to start with. That's okay. So actually what I want to do is I want to jump straight in and just start doing some searches against uh, some of the data I'm seeing. Now in this example, uh, like I say, uh, we've actually talked about uh, uh, destination port uh, being 443. So again we're doing a field search here. Uh, actually we just want to do that data in there. Uh, notice as I type it, it's actually one, it's filling out the field, so it's actually giving me some prompts to do that. But additionally it's actually doing a look up here against uh, the, the time period that I'm looking at, which in this case is 10 minutes, but it's actually looking up, uh, seeing some of the uh, examples here. It's actually matching some of that data as well. But actually what I want to do is I, I want to do this over the last 24 hours uh, and get that running uh, to see some of the data. Now uh, I have a demonstration system, it's got some leg log data in, uh, it's not actually going to be uh, fully complete uh, for everything that's in there, but we'll get a good understanding of some of the data in there. And as we can see we've got a 2,000 hits uh, across a million events scanned. So it's nice and quick and it's prompt as part of that process. But we can see some of the fields uh, th th that we can see across here. There's lots and lots of data in there. And actually, as I part start my uh, investigation, I probably just want to be focusing on some uh, some simple and straightforward stuff. So I could actually reduce the field sets and uh, reduce that down to a, a limited set of, of what we're looking for. Uh, and in this case, actually, we just, we just want to show some uh, security events. So actually, I need to just update my little uh, 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 dynamic uh, set of uh, searches there that are appearing here. So now we're actually just focusing on, on security relevant events uh, on port 443. So it's only going to be dis displaying a limited set of fields now as you can see uh, and uh, we've updated some data here so actually now we can start to, to look into some of this data. So Actually, I just click on the device product. So now we can see that, uh, that on port 443, we're getting that from a number of sources, uh, and, and it seems to be the vast majority is coming through a 40 gate uh, and so on. If I actually look at the name of the events themselves, we can see that, the, again, the vast majority of the data here uh, is coming through from a traffic accept uh, or it's a Cisco NetFlow event as well. So we can start to see and understand that the majority of our traffic is being accepted going through our, our, our 40 gate firewalls uh, or it's uh, some NetFlow traffic as well. So now we're starting to profile and having a bit of an understanding of what's going on uh, just by some very simple searches and clicking on a couple of uh, fields there to display a table and a chart. So actually I want to dig into things a little bit more. I actually want to look at a particular uh, filter here. So we're looking at the demo HTTPS uh, search and we're looking for the uh, top example which is that one. So we just load and click go. And now we see that our search is a little bit more uh, uh, elaborate. So we can see we're looking for port 443 traffic. We're doing a top, which is gives us our, our, our top, in this case top 10 uh, of combinations, where the outcome, where we've got the vendor, a source address and destination address, and, and where this particular log data has come from as well. So we can see now in our chart, we've got a nice little chart to display this, but we can see our table here that again, exactly what we just looked at, that are quite a lot of this data that we're seeing is going uh, through our, our particular uh, Fortinet firewall system, uh, that it's going through a combination of source and destinations and it's coming from two different firewalls. Ah, now we're starting to understand a little bit more what's going on uh, and how that's, uh, how that's actually happening. So, okay, now, now it's interesting, but actually what we are seeing here is we're also seeing a bit of denied traffic as well. Um, so that's quite interesting. So actually I, I want to dig into that in a little bit more detail. So actually I have to look up to that one. Uh, what I can do is I can just literally click it and it drills down. Okay, it just applies the extra search criteria to, to my, my search up here. And now I can see what's going on. 
uh, and actually if I just change that uh, as an example I could I could do some further investigation around uh, and try to understand combinations of source and destinations. But as an example, what I can do is I can now look at this data in a different way. So why don't I look at the uh, HTTPS tail? So let's just load and run that search. So what does that give us? So now eh, it's very similar, but we're doing the last sort of effectively uh, running what we call it a, a tail uh, to the the last uh, and least most co uh, least common events that we've actually seen. So now we're seeing that there's a, a again a, a set of combinations of going on. Um, it, it, it's similar to what we call the rare function, but we're just seeing uh, effectively the, the 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 last few events here. We can see that. Hang on a minute. There's some some very interesting stuff going on with regards to uh, SSL uh, and some um, get uh, requests here, with obviously some additional characters that are being displayed. Now we're starting to understand again that there's some combinations of source and destinations here that are giving us some some cause for concern. Uh, we need to dig into this in a little bit more detail. So okay, uh, what we can do now is we can actually just be a little bit more clever about this. So actually what we'll do is we'll just delete that and just do uh, rare five name. So give me the, the least common five events uh, of that uh, combination. So we've, we've looked at the data from uh, an overall perspective of the most frequent data combinations going through our, our 40 gate firewall we've we've seen that in a chart we, we can look at that data in more detail we are also looked at the most uh, relevant events we're looking at and now we're looking at the least common events so again we look trying to drill down and, and trying to understand so now we're starting to see some of this oh admin uh, login attempt uh, some unusual uh, gets with regards to what's actually happening as well so oh, this is quite interesting uh, and again as part of the process this is just a demonstration with some pre-canned uh, log data in it but actually what we probably want to do is, is digging into this in a lot more detail to, to, to look at the actual uh, events and what they're calling and who's logging in and so on and, and carry out some searches according to that as well. Of course I could just click on that and, and drill through. Uh, what I can just quickly do is I can load another quick search that I previously previously saved here. So again, search down, and we look at the uh, and this one, sorry, this one bytes, uh, and we run go. Uh, this is again a little bit more sophisticated. So we're looking at destination uh, of four four three, and we're doing a, a combination uh, of of. A, a report here effectively uh, for the chart that's doing a combination of bytes in and bytes out. It's calculating that. Uh, it's then you know, doing the sum there. It's displaying that again based on the uh, source and destination uh, and just doing the top 10. So we're doing the top 10 combinations of the two most talkative source and destinations. And again, yeah, we would expect to see a certain amount of data between proxies and so on. But uh, in this case, we can actually see that there is an awful lot of, of, of data going in uh, and some data going out. So there's a very big disparity going on here. So again, we'd probably look to carry out some further investigation of what's actually occurring and, and, and how we're looking at that data. But this is actually a good example of, of picking out some data here with regards to how we're doing things uh, f by by leveraging the, the categorization and the normalization that we're using. So we're able to see whether traffic is accepted or denied because it's telling me uh, that it's showing me without having to do any additional computation. Additionally, from a, from a normalization, we're actually getting this data about what's coming in and going out, and I can calculate this. In this particular example, and you can see it here, my particular very simple search, I'm just doing a, a straightforward sum of the uh, data here, but you can see this is both on my FortiGate firewalls and my Cisco NetFlow data as well. So it's actually giving me that data and I don't have to break it down. I could, and I could add a further criteria in this to say just do it on the FortiGate firewalls for example. The great thing here is, is that because that categorization giving me consistent fields and data, and because of the normalization to allow me to, to identify it uh, uh, based on the events and drop and accept and so on means that I don't have to worry about the versions, the device, uh, the products or the source uh, where this late log data is coming from. I can do it very simple and very straightforward. So as you can see, my investigation, I can start to, to drill down and really start to understand what some of these IP addresses and combinations are. And again, I can just click and drill down and, and do some further analysis. So 
I think that's given a very good example of, of the scenario of looking at some unusual activity and some traffic and just looking at different ways we can uh, slice that data. Of course, all this could be displayed in a dashboard as well. So uh, with that, I will uh, finish and thank you very much for your time.